It's been one year since the death of Unus Honest, and surprisingly both Mark and Ethan created videos to commemorate that day. These were both simply titled Memento Mori, and featured the same coffin that they purchased last year and had on display for the livestream. For these videos they met up again, though they're still friends outside of content creation, so I imagine they've seen each other since November last year. Before we examine these videos, it's been noticed how they are both wearing opposite colours and hairstyles than they had last year. Both videos started off cinematically. Marks began more suspensefully with an eerie sound and a ticking clock, while Ethan's focused on the calm stillness of nature. Focusing on Mark's video for now, he then provided a voiceover that sounded like a call to Ethan about this occasion. Hey man. Um, I guess it's been a year. That's kind of weird. Just trying to think of what I was going to say. I was trying to think about uh, whether this year was as involved as last year before finally coming upon the coffin and laying down a white rose. Then began the thoughtful and solemn reflections. Yeah, I just, I just miss it. I think it was just about the coolest thing I've ever done. Surprisingly, Mark is more emotional this year than he was the day after Unis Anis ended. It was a year's worth of work to build up to one moment. Well, he thinks it's cool how many people were impacted by it, what Mark misses the most was when he was actively creating that experience. So many people talk to me about it and to say what a, what a like inspiration it was. And all that is true, it's all is true. I, I think that's like what we wanted to say and, and we did say it and we said it well. But also I just, I just make just making the videos. Even creating a TV show wasn't quite the same as Unis Honest. I've done like a TV show this year and I did I did space and it was great and it was hard and it was hard work but also, you know, it's, oh, it wasn't like Unis Honest. Turning our attention back to Ethan's video, once he walked to the coffin he laid down a black rose before beginning his reflections. His first observation was how weird it is that a year passed already. Especially with COVID, I've felt a similar way. It's been a year now since we ended Unis Anis, which is weird because it doesn't feel like that long. Then he discussed just how unique of an experience Unis Anis was. Because I've never been a part of something like that before, and I don't think I'll ever be a part of something like that again. And how he was surprised that they pulled through with that huge workload. I don't know how we did it. <laughs> because looking back, it doesn't seem like we should have been able to. You know, make the videos that we made in the time that we made them. I don't know how we had time to do anything else. I mean, we didn't <laughs> really have time to do anything else. He really cherished that companionship with Mark and being able to share his experiences with other people. Over this past year, a lot has happened and I'm working on something that I've never done anything like this before, but the difference between what I'm doing and Unis Anis is that this time I'm alone. An interesting thing that was brought up next was how us as the audience didn't really get to see the full story. But the thing that they didn't get to experience was everything in between. You know, they saw the videos that we made, but they didn't see everything that we did. They didn't see the late nights of staying up editing. They didn't see us waiting up until midnight on the 15th to release the channel. They didn't get to see how it impacted all of us. And they didn't get to see a really special side of what we did. And I'm really glad in a way that they didn't get to see that. I can agree with that, especially as a creator myself. The audience doesn't know what went into a video or the challenges associated with making it. They only see the finished project. People can always try and pretend like they know what it was like to make Unis Anis, 
but I don't think that anybody will ever know what it was actually like. On this point, I think a few of the Unis Honest clone channels that I talked about in a previous video may have some idea of what it was like. Though they missed out on several elements, including being the first to delete a whole year's worth of content forever and on purpose. Part of that is horrifying, knowing that Unis Honest might just be the best thing that I've ever made. And I'm okay with it being the best thing that I've ever made. And I'm really proud that it's the best thing that I've ever made. I personally don't think that Unis Anas will be the best thing that Ethan ever does. He has a live show in just a few days, and he's still quite young and has a long career ahead of him. I saw a comment somewhere that said these videos have the same vibe as visiting a grave of someone close to you, and I can definitely see that. Yeah, for some reason, in my head always, when I think of Unis Anas, is like the cups. The cup stacking. I think of like you cryptid style, like, like with the cups. That was, that was a... To close out their videos, Mark and Ethan gave their closing thoughts. I'll see you next year. And walked away from the coffin to return next year with their reflections. Even though the channel is gone forever, that clock is always ticking in your life. So try and make the most out of it while you still have time. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub because that really helps me out. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.